What? I don't have it. I don't know where it went. I don't know. Okay, if I knew, I would play with you right now, but I can't do that. Can you go find it? It's in the other room. Well, I don't know. Go find it. Go on. Shoo. Get. Sorry about that. Had to argue with the Shorky for a minute about where her latest toy, the crinkle sock, was located. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is Thursday evening's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. It is, again, quiet, but it is chilly without those extra clouds out there that we have seen over the last couple of evenings. Temperatures are going to be much colder tonight, so if you have any plans for being outdoors for any good reason, junior varsity football, soccer games, out on the town, dinner and a movie, whatever it is, you're definitely going to need something to ward off the chill as we get into the evening hours. So again, definitely on the brisk side out there for the time being. Rest of the week, what's left of it doesn't look all that bad. We have, again, some fairly cool conditions into the Mid-South uh, for tomorrow because we have a new cold front that is actually moving through the Mid-South as we get into later on tonight. That will give us, again, some cooler temperatures into Friday. It'll be very brisk out there. And we'll also see, again, some pretty chilly temperatures as we go into and around uh, Friday night football as well. So if you have any plans, again, for that, you're not going to need the umbrella, but you may see, again, the possibility of the maybe seeing uh, the potential for some more problems of showers and thunderstorms into the rest of the forecast as we head through <clears throat> Excuse me. They have the rest of the next weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Otherwise, looks pretty good for later on tonight. And looking again into the rest of the forecast, again, no major problems being seen uh, for the time being. Welcoming in all of our viewers on Facebook at this time, so live on Periscope, Instagram, and Facebook. So thanks a lot to everybody for joining us tonight. Again, currently, so far, so good on the forecast, which you can find again here in the blue bar on the bottom portion of your screen, looking again at the possibility of even more chances of rain across the area by the weekend, but not really seeing too much in the way of major amounts. Can I have it or not? You, you going to get No? Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. Arguing with a five-pound ball of fluff with a couple of legs. Anyway, for right now, we see again the potential for some quiet conditions out there. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get started with what we're looking for in the way of radar tonight which does not amount to much. Again, we're seeing little, if anything, out there in the way of rainfall. Uh, the front that's moving through the area will continue again to be uh, rather on the mild side where it comes to rain, and it's actually going to be passing through the area throughout the course of the next few hours, but we're just not seeing anything in the way of rainfall at this time. Very clear skies out across much of the Mid-South. thought we'd start off with something a little bit more unique and interesting for tonight, something we don't often see on here, thanks to the United States Geological Survey, a look from the Halema Uma U overlook vent from around the area of Kilauea. You're looking directly down into the crater. That's not flashes of lightning, that's lava you're looking at. And they have cameras like this set up in various parts of the volcanic vents that you can take a look at into and around the area of Hawaii. And again, this comes from the uh, United States Geological Survey. And if you'd like to see these pictures, these uh, cameras out there, they are available from the Hawaiian uh, volcanic Observatory. Again, great opportunity to see more about uh, what's going on out there. If my camera page would behave right there, you can find out more. You can get there by going to hvo.wr.edu usgs.gov and you can find out more about what things look like out in and around that particular area. Kind of neat just to be able to feature a camera looking into a live volcano. It's something we don't have a chance to really offer that much, but it is kind of neat when we're able to take a look at it. Speaking of things earth-related and or seismic, we don't see anything going on in the way of anything involving earthquakes across the Mid-South at this point, so very quiet conditions out there. Uh, the new Madrid fault line right in the middle of your screen for the most part. If I could get this to, for some reason, my browser is getting a little bit cranky for tonight, but in the meantime, that's what you're looking at out there is, again, the new Madrid fault, and that's where we're seeing, again, the potential for uh, anything involving earthquakes in the Mid-South. So far, pretty well on the quiet side for right now, so we just don't have much of anything uh, going on for the time being at this point into the area, so that's always good news. This is pretty interesting, too. We're going to be featuring this as one of our links overnight uh, from the Satellite Center at the University of Wisconsin. This, what you're looking at, is, again, a view over about a 
three-day period of the border between India and Pakistan where the atmosphere has been doing a very good job of creating what's called an inversion. It's a layer of air several thousand feet up which doesn't allow for any mixing of the atmosphere. So what you're looking at in this display is actually a layer of haze and smog and you can see how bad it is from New Delhi all the way down in the lower right hand corner of your screen all the way across the border into around Lahore in Pakistan uh, just absolutely thick conditions out there a lot of people have been sick and sadly there have been uh, some fatalities as well with this situation out across uh, much of the area of into around Pakistan and into around uh, areas around close to India, northwestern India is where you're looking at at this time with New Delhi down here in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So hopefully that gets a change in the weather relatively soon because otherwise we're going to be seeing some more problems out into around that area as we see even more health conditional problems start to uh, cause any more conditions out into and around the area for right now. Uh, Walter Newsom, good question. Everybody who's out there this evening, let's go ahead and see where you're located. Uh, drop your location and or your current conditions out there into the forecast page. We'd love to know more about uh, where you're from at this point. And if you have anything going on, uh, get that uh, thermometer outside the kitchen window and put it to good use and let us know what's happening. What happened to the area? Uh, in the last couple of hours, we had one storm out into around St. John's in Newfoundland making its way up and to the north and to the east, and that is no longer a concern. And so far over the next two to five days, the National Hurricane Center does not show anything happening at this point. Now, we have about uh, 21 days, about three weeks or so left in the hurricane season, and that'll be it for this year. Hopefully it doesn't extend over into December, but the ocean waters are warm enough. We may see some activity going on there, but so far things are very quiet, and here's hoping and praying that it stays that way. Cloud cover across the area, you can definitely see where that leading edge of the cooler, drier air is from Knoxville down to Chattanooga, Birmingham, into around Jackson, central Louisiana, and all the way back into Texas. We do have, again, some clearing skies out there, so looking very nice. Lots of sunshine across the area. Do have some scattered clouds over parts of Arkansas and into and around Missouri. Most of what you're looking at there is just high, thin cloud cover, and some of that is actually uh, point source from smoke from fires right down around the Washtaws into parts of the Ozark National Forest up into southern parts of Missouri. Some of those are spot fires, and that, again, is adding to some of the haze across across northwestern quarters uh, of the state of Arkansas for tonight. What we've got going on into the next couple of days, again, does not look like much at this time, but as we go into around Saturday or Sunday, we may be looking at the possibility of some very quiet areas of activity, some very light showers expected, maybe a tenth of an inch as we head from Saturday into Sunday, but other than that, not really doing too much out there. Next best chance of anything involving rainfall might come by around Tuesday into Wednesday. We see a few sprinkles possible there, and some of that could drop into the Mid-South as we head into around Thursday or Friday. Good possibility of a decent winter storm shaping up for the upper plain states and into and around the Great Lakes, but that doesn't occur until late next week, stretching it out even farther as we go into and around the area right before and toward about the area of Thanksgiving uh, into one of the last weeks of the month. We see again also another major area of low pressure crossing the country and it looks like by Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday pre-Thanksgiving we could be looking at another storm system crossing the country. Now for the Mid-South it doesn't look like really too much of anything going on at this point but that area of low pressure looks to be pretty intense so we could be looking at some more uh, problems heading our direction as that storm system gets a little bit closer toward the east coast and the Great Lakes. So we could be looking at some uh, stronger winds and maybe some snow showers as we get into around Thanksgiving Eve, just what we need for the travel holiday. And for Thanksgiving itself, bracketed by storm systems, one off the east coast and another one looks like it's moving into view off the west coast. So that could be something that we uh, could be looking at some sort of concern on that one. Uh, let's see, Maureen, checking my bifocals here. I need to clean these things. Maureen Meeks heading to Chicago this weekend. Any chance of snow at this time? Uh, going forward for now, from here, we see some snow showers north of there toward about Milwaukee, uh, up into the upper peninsula of Michigan. 
Doesn't look like much until we hit about Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then there is the possibility of it looks like some light snow showers there and maybe a reinforcing shot coming on through by Sunday afternoon just south of Lake Michigan heading over toward around Gary, Detroit, and into around the lower peninsula of Michigan. But it doesn't look like uh, so far anything major taking place, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that system as it gets a little bit closer there. The front we've been watching is basically, for all intents and purposes, through the area. It's going to be making its way through the Mid-South this evening and dropping down to our south. By tomorrow morning, it'll be way to our south, allowing for high pressure to rotate in a lot of very cool, dry air. So it's not going to get that warm tomorrow. And Friday night football is going to be brisk to say the least so if you have any plans for that that could be something to take a look at here's our next storm system again out toward the rockies that'll be getting a little bit closer to us by the time we hit the end of veterans day on saturday limited chances of rainfall by saturday night and into sunday morning just not really seeing a lot of too much of anything out across the Mid-South. Forecast for the area, again, the National Weather Service not showing anything in the way of major concerns out there. Probability for widespread hazardous weather is, in fact, on the low side for right now. We'll do a quick check of the forecast to see what goes on uh, into the rest of the data for the next couple of days for a second. Give me a, just a moment to get things uh loaded up here that should have been taken care of earlier. I don't know why it was. Sorry about that. Uh, lows tonight back into the lower 30s north of I-40 and looking at temperatures back in the upper 30s north of I-40 for later on tonight. Brandon and Brown, southeast lower Michigan, got the first dusting of snow tonight. Congratulations. Wintertime is definitely arriving, especially well back to our north. Highs tomorrow, and again, these are high temperatures, mid to upper 40s around northeast Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, lower 50s around I-40, and mid to upper 50s south of there. So a little bit warmer for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now, by tomorrow evening around Friday night football, these will be the pregame kickoff temperatures. Lower 40s, northeast Arkansas and northwest Tennessee. That's kickoff temperatures. That's about 5, 30, 6, 7 o'clock or so. Combine that with winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We could see some wind chills tomorrow at about 7 o'clock, easily into the 30s. So if you're heading out of the town, got a party to go to, banquet, church social, family gathering, Friday night football, whatever you've got, if it's outdoors, be prepared for this because it is going to be a bit on the chilly side out there. Let's go ahead and jump into Saturday. We've got temperatures back into around the upper 50s to lower 60s as those winds turn back around. Low temperatures Saturday night, lower 40s. That's good news because it's above freezing, but there will be chances of rain starting to make their way in. Northeast Arkansas will stand about a 15% chance Saturday night. And then going into Sunday, chances of rain start to overspread the area, but we're not talking about great chances. 20 to 30 percent coverage chance and that's not great but it is again still possible and high temperatures again on Sunday will be a little bit cooler back into the mid to upper 50s or so and that's going to be about it for the temperatures there. Heading into next week, let's go ahead and skip ahead to Monday. High temperatures improve a little bit, but again, not by much. We should be back in the mid to upper 50s to around about the lower 60s. And a quick peek at Tuesday, temperatures for highs back into the lower to mid 60s or so. Check out more of the forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. And also on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonicwreg, twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg three and tune in for more on my periscope page where you can watch me watching me watching me watching me and tune in for more on that available again on periscope.com uh, more about that you can just search out me on that and tons of other weather information as well stay tuned for more again from the seven day forecast this is available from news channel three at this website at wreg.com slash weather well it should be appearing there i'm not too sure okay there we go uh veterans day again coming up on saturday and don't want to forget this. Been doing this all week long and should be doing it all year. Thank you to all the veterans out there for, again, wearing the uniform, and thanks to everybody for supporting them on the home front as well. 
Uh, again, something to think about. If you see a veteran out there, if you see anybody out there wearing the uniform of our country, please make certain to extend a hand and thank them for their service. A uh, great way to say thank you is just to say thank you. Just a great way to acknowledge that, if at all possible. Again, check out the forecast there. If you'd like to know more about what's going on on tomorrow's weather forecast, all you have to do is tune in to Bob and Josh bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. through 10 a.m. Uh, mainly sports chat, but also news Weather with yours truly, local events, all kinds of neat stuff going on at AM 730 is the place to get that there. If you can't listen online, all you have to do is listen or listen on air. All you have to do is listen online, and you can find out more by going to talkbacklivenetwork.org. Hey, can, can you give that to me real quick? I'm not going to play tug of war with you. I'm, on, I'm, I'm talking to people. Can you give, you're not going to give it to me? arguing with a shorty. It's all kinds of fun. So I would bring her up here, but she's trying to play keep away with this crinkle sock thing. We've got one of my old athletic socks. Put an old water bottle in it, tie it in a knot, and it's better than any dog toy you could ever purchase anyplace else. And that's what the crinkle, crinkle, crinkle noise that you hear is going on there. Another... Don't look at me that way. Another check of your forecast coming up tonight with Jim Jaggers. That'll be in just about 90 minutes on News Channel 3 at 10. And also a lot more coming up with Todd Demers. That'll be bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Live and direct from House Onik, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for tonight's edition of WREG-TV News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.